and occasionally some big seals would come onto the land. So there was um, lots of different seals. So you get Weddell seals, you get crab eater seals, um, and you get leopard seals. They're really quite aggressive, but they don't really come on land. So there's one called a fur seal, and it's like a sea lion, and it can actually walk on land. And one of those got onto the island, so it was really close to me, I hadn't noticed. That's a good question. So how deep was the snow? Um, so when we first arrived, it had just been an Antarctic winter. So we just arrived at the beginning of the summer season. And we had to actually find the buildings that we were going to be living in and dig them out. We couldn't see them. They were completely covered. So higher than the roof. And we had to dig and dig and dig until we found the door. And then we broke open the door and went in. And then all of the water is frozen, so you have to try and get the gas going, melt the water. Yeah, it was cool. But then when you, throughout the season, it gets really quite warm in Antarctica. For me, have a summer as well as we do. So after the snow is sort of melting and melting and melting, and there's lots of penguins on the island. Um, so I was living with 2,000 penguins for about five months. <laughs> and um, when they're making their nests and they're kind of pooing everywhere, yeah. it, it coats the surface of the snow, makes it all pink and brown. <laughs> uh, because they're eating grill, so it's all pink and pink. Uh. Um, and then because of that, the sun melts the snow quicker. So if it was white, it would bounce the, snow, the sun back because it's all brown and sticky. It melts really quickly, and by the end, there was just some rocks left, and then it snows again in winter. What kind of do you have to use? Like, what kind of Okay, so because I knew where I was staying, I didn't have to take a tent or anything like that. We had to take special clothing, so um, really important thing is sunglasses and thermals. So it's very, very sunny, but it's also quite cold. So you want loads of thermals to keep warm, and then sunglasses and lots of sun cream. So I know they're not really techie gadgets, and we didn't really need any ice axes or that kind of thing. It is important to stay warm and to make sure you don't get sunburned. They're too toxic. You didn't think you'd get sunburned, would you, in the, uh, <laughs> in the cold? Daddy, I've got any wet any, any scary, yeah, any scary moments. Scary bits. So, um, there's lots of wildlife, and it's their home, so we're in their home, we let them kind of do their own thing, and occasionally some big seals would come onto the land. So there was um, lots of different seals, so you get Weddell seals, you get Crab Eater seals, um, and you get Leopard seals. They're really quite aggressive, but they don't really come on land. There's one called a fur seal, and it's like a sea lion, and it can actually walk on land. And one of those got onto the island, so it's really close to me, I hadn't noticed. So they're quite sort of timid, and if you clap really loudly, they run away. But um, when you don't notice them, they can they can growl. And I thought it was a bit, I thought it was like a lion or a tiger. <laughs> it was a bit weird. But yeah, that really scared me once. Yeah, cool. Oh, it's really interesting. Oh, thank you so no much problem, for asking yeah. some questions. I'm sure Ben Spencer's school will cool. be really interesting. Hey, yeah, great. We've just been learning about the Arctic, wasn't it, with Ben and Shackleton? That's yeah. real, yeah, I've been to Antarctica three times. So the first time was living with penguins and I was actually the sub postmaster of Antarctica. Ooh. So when tourists come and visit, we would, I would be responsible for looking after all of their mail and sending postcards all over the world. Um, and I sent 80,000 postcards in <laughs> four months. So it's quite a busy base we were done. And then we also had to count penguin eggs and we also had to look after the old buildings, painting them and fixing them. So it's a pretty eclectic job. And then the next two times I went, I was working as a sailor on a ship, um, and I was taking tourists up mountains. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Is this is that you have to climb any mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's an amazing place, and if you get the opportunity, I would definitely recommend it. Oh, fantastic! Oh, wow. Okay, you're saying. Um, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, good luck with it. Awesome. I've enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, no thank worries. you so much.